today we are learning how to develop dead zone block by using basic blocks in simulink okay so uh, basically first of all i will uh, introduce dead zone block how it will work so uh, basically dead zone block is using that it has two properties starting of the dead zone and uh, end of dead zone right so uh, when the input value is right when input value is uh, lower than the starting of dead zone value or we can say dead zone value will start from always remember that uh, dead zone input uh, lower dead zone value always start with the lower value if you are checking here i gave 10 and 5 suppose i gave here 15 and gave it here it will show error right what's not showing error oh aha start of dead zone suppose i give here 20 and here 15 so it will give error so always remember that starting of dead zone will be the uh, lowest value whereas end of the dead zone will be the higher value so what exactly it will give the so i already uh, implement the logic and uh, i develop so how exactly it will give the output so basically whenever we are giving the input is lower than the starting of dead zone value or lower than the value it will give the output as input minus the lower value suppose i am giving the input is 1 right so and my st uh, starting of dead zone is 10 okay so what will be the output will be 1 minus 10 which is nothing but minus 9 so basically i will take the values which i mention here okay 10 and 15 okay so 10 and 15 so first of all select all if you are new to oh, new to uh, you, if you are new to simulink or matlab just control a it will select all go to display and in with display go to data display in simulation and show value level of selected port so it will show the values whenever we are giving the input so it there is a no need for you to connect this uh, display block and uh, see the values what are the inputs and output okay so basically i did this so let's start so i will uh, run this step by step so that uh, we can see the values right so basically if you are checking i am giving see the upper one is the saturate uh, dead zone block we are using and download the implementation of that dead zone block by using the basic blocks okay so uh, my input is one right and my date starting of dead zone value is 10 so basically my input is one so input minus in up lower than lower value so my input is 10 minus lower than 10 so it will be 1 minus 10 nothing but minus 9 so here also minus 9 so how it will work first of all it will check this condition if 1 is less than or equal to 10 it will give true so it is true so what all is the my uh, starting of dead zone value it will give 10 uh, my dead zone value is 10 so i connected here 10 so i am comparing with my dead zone value here so it will always compare so always remember whatever the day starting of dead zone value connect here which is less than right and my so uh, there are some questions okay uh, what will be the uh, value if it is 10 so let's will check because we have 10 to 15 value so we'll start for one it is give minus one uh, minus nine for two it is giving minus eight for three it is giving minus seven so it will be like that till so at 10 how much it will give let's let's will see so at 10 see at 10 it is doing because it is starting of the dead zone right so dead zone is just started at the 10 okay so here also it will start 10 because i gave the value starting of dead zone is 10 end of dead zone 50 so in between these two values it will show 0 only output of 12 13 14 15 okay now my input is 16 so my input is 16 but my upper value which is end of the dead zone is more than this value right more than this value 15 so how much it will be 16 minus 15 will be 1 if i give here 17 17 minus 15 is equal to 2 so this is how i developed uh, dead zone block by using the basic block in the simulink uh, i hope that uh, you got the logic if you got if you have any questions you can leave in the comment i will try to solve this okay so bye bye see you in next